Today's cooking is by Silky. What are you cooking today? I'm going to make my award winning avocado toast. Award winning award avocado winning. toast. But with a poached egg. Now, the best way to poach eggs, put them in a pan like so. Turn on the heat. Which one's the heat again? Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay. And put that until it starts boiling. And we'll leave that for a minute. And I'll start preparing the avocado. So, I don't know if anyone's familiar with cutting avocados and getting stone out. <laughs> but it's a, a technique that I developed this is many, your, many, your, many years ago. Your original technique? Yeah. Oh, how, how come I do the same thing? I thought that was well, original. I that, so. <laughs> uh, one, one, one must wash their hands after grabbing the stone. Um, so we've got the avocado cut. Now it's time to, we need a little bit of the onion. Let's get rid of this stuff. Some people want the skin. I don't know what it's actually called. So let's chop a little bit of the onion. Now we want to finely chop this onion. Um, okay, that's our finely chopped onion. Um, we could probably make it a bit more finely chopped than that. We chopped it up. Now, Get some of this avocado out. Okay, so that's the award winning technique. Yeah. Okay. Now, you could do it in a. I like to do it in diagonals, but you can do it in whatever, you know, if you want to do it straight or cross. There's a technique called the cross, the cross, the cross slice. <laughs> another technique that I invented. Um, <laughs> the key is to gently spoon it out. Like, you just want to gently spoon out the avocado. Like, is that a name for the move? Yeah, gently spoon it. <laughs> so gentle, let's gently spoon this one. Beautiful. Okay, and you can add some of the onion, probably about yay amount. Yay amount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing that we need to do is chop some tomatoes. Let's finely chop these tomatoes. So there's finely chopped. I'm going to add these tomatoes in, like so. That's perfect. It's probably the perfect amount. And then let's add a the the key ingredient is a little bit of garlic, which people forget. The chopped garlic? Yeah, freshly chopped, which I chopped earlier. So let's add a little bit of garlic into this, like so. And then we need to blend this together. I call this technique blending. Just <laughs> like what you're doing with records. <laughs> yes, it's a blending. It's blending. So Now you want to chop, you want to like mash these up, but not mash them up completely so it's like a puree. You want to keep a little little chunk in it. I think of it as a bad mix. <laughs> okay, explain that. What does that mean? I think of it as a bad mix. Mix the garlic around properly. That's uh, pretty good to me. Okay. <laughs> um, right, now. The other thing I do is like I like to squeeze a, a tiny, you can use lime or lemon, I, I like using lemon, so I squeeze a tiny little bit of lemon into it, just a tiny little bit, just give it that little bit of a tang, a little tang, okay, okay. stir that around, Ooh. that's pretty award winning already, um, just a little secret ingredient, top secret, called salt, what? Salt. Salt. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's salt. <laughs> salt, black pepper. Salt's coming. Okay. So, a little bit of salt. Himalayan pink variety from the Himalayas. Depth from the depths of the Himalayas. Uh, if it's a little stiff, 
Yeah. It might be a little stiff, I've, like this one. I this broke like, this thing the other day because it I wasn't mean, moving, so I hit it and then the plastic broke. Right, this is terrible. <laughs> okay, alright, we've got it. We've got a little salt there. Yeah. A little bit of black pepper. Perfect. Probably enough that we need. And then uh, one of my other little secret ingredients is a tiny dash of mixed herbs. What is that? A tiny dash of mixed herbs, like, like so. Okay. And then this stuff called Mrs. Dash, not Mr. Dash, Mrs. Dash. Pour a little bit of Mrs. Dash on there. Now, this should be the award-winning mixture that you've been looking for. <laughs> Okay, all right, put some butter on the toast. So cut the butter. Yeah, cut the butter like against the grain. <laughs> against the grain. <laughs> you want to cut the butter against the grain. That's like right. so. Okay, nicely, nicely buttered there. Okay, let's put these aside and ready for the, the eggs. The eggs. Okay. All right, well, eggs are in the pan and the water is now boiling. So what we need to do now, when the water boils, put the lid on and then you turn this off. And which one is this one? It's this one. Okay, so let's turn this off completely. And now we leave that for 10, 10 minutes exactly. If you want them hard boiled, perfectly hard boiled, 10 minutes. If you want them slightly soft boiled with a little bit of runny yolk in the middle. I like that. Around. I would say six, six minutes, minutes, about yeah. six minutes. So let's just set the timer for, set timer for six minutes. Okay, six minutes there you go, now set. You've got to leave it for literally like, if you leave it for about two and a half minutes or maybe two minutes and 37 seconds. Let's all two minutes and 33 yeah, seconds. Yeah, let all the flavors kind of blend in nicely. So let's just spread it nicely. Now there's a technique to doing this. You want to get the fork, put it on like yay so, and then you want to just go diagonally with the fork to create a nice, lovely little pattern. Okay. And let's do the same for this one. So, you know, I call this shoveling. I call this shoveling. You shovel, shovel. Hang on, second. Okay. Yeah, I call this shoveling. You shovel that avocado paste onto the toast, and then you. Use your fork to create a lovely little pattern, like so. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay. So now that we've laid our, uh, we've um, laid our avocado toast down, we're going to shave a little Parmesan cheese on it. Now, the key is to thinly sliced Parmesan cheese. Now you can put this above or below the egg. It's up to you. Your preference. But just remember that it has to be thinly sliced, so it gives you that mouth-watering, sensory experience on your palate. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. So the time is done for our eggs now. Let's remove the water like so. Be careful not to burn your hands because it's boiling water. Now, I like to pour a little bit of cold water on this because I don't like to have burnt hands, like so. Now you have to be a little bit, de bit delicate with these because we kind of slightly soft boiled them. So. Now that egg is peeled. So we've got both our eggs peeled here. Run them under a little cold water to get rid of uh, all the shells. Now, I like to use this contraption which I actually invented. Why, well, you invented that too? Yeah, it's called the egg slicer. Uh, when you're playing, you know, when you're playing music, you slice beets. I slice eggs. So then you just spread, look at that, perfectly boiled egg. Wow. Okay. What I invention. This one. And you just spread it like so. I like to call it the concertina effect. Concertina effect. 
Now, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. And the final touch is a tiny sprinkling. Like so. A little dash of salt from this really awful salt grinder. <laughs> and, Sorry. Uh, I have a better one next time. A little bit of black pepper. And there you've just made my award winning avocado toast. Awesome. Why don't you try it? For sure, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Uh, Award-winning. Award-winning. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Wow. That's good. Okay, you made it. I think I like my nose. Wow. Like it? I have the spawn actually. It's really good. It's award-winning. Mm. It's a word when you for sure. That is really kicking, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. The shaved parmesan cheese on your palate. I feel that on my palate, but sure. The parmesan cheese is a great job. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know this show, when I talked to you about it, you were very excited about that you can play something that you wouldn't play at the gigs. I don't know what you're preparing, but I'm very excited well, to hear. Well, I did really prepare. <laughs> I just, uh, I just grabbed a whole bunch of records, which I, you know, that I like, not that I, um, I didn't feel like it was going to go in any particular way or whatever because I like so many different kinds of genres. There are so many different kinds of styles. Like, um, you know, it's a different style still to me. Um, I mean, no, it's the same style. It's yeah. just um, the stuff that's, like, I mean, I still play across the board now in everything. It's just stuff that's made, evolved me over the years to play the sound that I play. And, you know, a lot of these records that I play tonight, a lot of them are really old, some of them are, some of them are new, but, you know, it all spanned the kind of genre of going from like, um, sort of deep house to electro punk to like soulful house to jack, you know, some jacking stuff. And it's, all of that is, is, what, is, is basically what I play now, just, maybe new music. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is like a fun dimensional, like you Yeah, I mean, these are the records, favorite. I, you know, some of the records I've played tonight are the records that um, I've been wanting to play out, well, I've just been wanting to play for a long time. I played this really cool Glenn Underground one, which is like one of my favorite records, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to play this. Um, and it's fun to do that. Um, but all, all of those, it's, uh, all of those, shape the way that I play. Awesome. I'm very happy you're here. Thank you. Yes. Cheers. 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 Mm. Oh, sure. Mm. How was it? Bomb. Award winning. It, it is. I know. It's one of the I like the hard that. that. Oh, it's good. It's good. It is good, right? Hardball egg, the parmesan cheese is good. That's no, like... the garlic. It's the garlic in it. You want me to warm it? I can warm it for you. No. no. Yeah. Did this. You show me some Indian food, no? Can you make any of this curry and things like that? Um. No, really? <laughs> no. Really. How about me? No, can you make none? No. <laughs> are you Indian? Yeah. Okay, why? Why well, are you Japanese? Yeah, I... <laughs> Can you make fucking ramen from scratch? <laughs> I mean... That's right. I meant to make a good shepherd pie. I think the, I think oh, the yeah. avocado toast... Was my uh, my shepherd pie is award-winning. I mean, whatever you make is award-winning, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, how do you know? I know. It's so how easy. do you know?
That's easy. It's award winning. I make Honey Nut Cheerios. It's they're like, award winning. It's like you've had my food before. <laughs> Like my award, you've, like you've had my award winning food. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of award is this? Um, many awards. Many awards. Many awards. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. That's fucking award winning. Award winning. Yeah, award winning. Right when I look at that photo, I'm just like, like it's award winning. I don't even.